Reese plays here, and I'm back with another episode. This is episode nine of the real stuff. Let's play. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you to uh, to you guys who has been watching since episode one. I know, like every episode, there's an issue. There still is an audio issue. Um, I'm playing on my MacBook. I edit on my MacBook. I create mostly all my content on my MacBook. So thank you for continuing to watch, even though I have multiple audio issues throughout this let's play. And um, yeah. So we're back episode nine. I'm thinking about making Stephanie give birth this episode because I just don't, I don't know what to do like for the rest of the let's play because she been pregnant. Let's say for months she's been pregnant. I try to make it as realistic as possible, but I did update Bethany and uh, I gave her a new hairstyle, more age appropriate, I guess. And I changed up a couple of her outfits and I did give her my new jaded dragon tattoo. It just came out yesterday because this is today is march 20th it came out the 19th it's on my patreon it came out the 19th so i released um my peacock feather tattoo it's already out it came out a couple days ago and then i released my jaded dragon tattoo and it just came out yesterday so go get it it's on my patreon it's under the tattoos tear and i think i have about let me check because the tattoo tear is only a certain amount of spots left and once you pledge to the tattoo tear um you can send me messages on instagram or patreon for me to do custom tattoo requests um you can just send me a message after you pledge and I can always check and see if you're pledged to what tier you are. If you want to change or edit a tier, I can help you with that. Let me see how many spots is left. Because once the spots fill up, I'm not opening them up anymore. Because I was sharing my tattoos on TikTok and stuff was getting out of hand. So that's why I decided to just do like a certain tattoo tier. So it was 31 the last time I checked. It's 26 spots left. I'll put it up here on the screen. It's a limited only. 26 spots left. I'm going to try to get this video up tomorrow, Monday 21st. I'm going to be editing all today. Tattoo tier. And I do have a Patreon sale. You can save 10% if you pay annually. So if you wanted to pay annually for the whole year instead of just paying every month, it would be, does it tell me? So annually for the tattoo tier would be $54. Yeah, it would be $54 if you just wanted to pay for a year straight because it's a lot of content, well, Sims content creators that, that don't post a lot and it can go months without posting. But for me, I try to post as much as possible. Like I was checking my Patreon and it said I posted about 15 times in February. And I feel like that's very good. And Patreon tells you like if they're like if any new creators need advice, um, I will give this advice to you. And Patreon will also give this advice to you. Post at least three times a month. If you can do three times, if not, you can do two. Just don't post once a month. And then, you know, like just keep making content. I feel like a lot of people won't be able to see your content and they'll feel uneasy about pledging but i feel like all my pledges or all my patrons are like very happy because i post almost every day i try to and if not i post a lot of work in progress on my patreon on my youtube um on my youtube community if you have questions you can ask me questions there i'm very active on basically all the, the Reese sims Reese plays social media i'm very active on so if you need any questions any help send me a dm a message just comment and i help and i'll help you with that and a lot of people well a lot of people have been having issues with this um maybe two or three people they messaged me and they said some of the my tattoo wasn't showing up in game um and that depends Depends on the skin so for the most part all my tattoos they show up on many of the skins but if it's like a skin with a very high sort layer the tattoos won't show up but what you can do if you have sims for a studio um you could download it and you could open up like say the dragon tattoo doesn't show up on your skin or a sim you can download sims for a studios and you can actually go to warehouse and go to the sort layers and bring it down to 2100 and the tattoo will show up if you're having problems with that the tattoos do show up up, just leave it as that and um i can't change it on my end because it will mess up tattoos for people who who been downloading them and they have been working so it would just have to be like on your end and it depends on what skin you use but it's really about the sort layer so enough for the talking i've been talking for about five minutes already but i love this dragon tattoo um i love bethany why i don't want to put half of the sims in the let's play up for download i have to find their cc and i have to find their tray files and that's a lot if i'm not making a video about it so if i'm I'm not making a video about it i won't like try to find the stuff and here's sage y'all off camera i've been playing off camera she has been getting pregnant almost every day i don't know if it's a bug in one of the mods but she's on her period and i think bethany and terry they just got off their period but sage is on her period and she just keeps getting pregnant for some reason i don't know why um yeah so i basically uh, updated them i turned off what is this 
the configure neighbor search i turned them off because i turned them on i saved my game and when i logged back in literally all my sims were pregnant i forgot to delete her child but all my sims were pregnant which was crazy and i'm gonna just show y'all um stephanie and terry i know i did this the last That's episode the but i'm just obsessed with just giving stephanie tattoos oh my goodness so um let's see i added the blessed tattoo if you already know that and then i went back in photoshop and i added two butterflies you can't really see this one but it's a butterfly like sitting on her flower and a butterfly sitting right here where the mermaid is and then i gave her my peacock feather tattoo and if you can't read the wording it says wow i don't even know what it says <laughs> oh she flies by with her own wings and um yeah i decided to add that but it's a swatch without it and then i gave her the side tattoo um it's right here it's not out yet i don't know if i'm gonna release it but it says um well it is out with the skin you could get it with the skin but you can't get it without the skin on the more skin it's the seven squatch if you have seven swatch i said squatch it's the seven swatch on the more skin and it says the chaos within her found balance i just thought that was cute but she's not getting any more tattoos i removed the rising sun tattoo because i just feel like you won't be able to see it since she'll always have like like some bangs or like some long hair that's covering her up. And uh, what else? She got a new nose ring. Um, she still has her septum. I just took it out. She has a Chanel nose ring. And I gave her this new necklace. And that's pretty much it. But Tariq has been um, working out. The last episodes, he was big. He's been working out. And he's, so, who, he's super buff now. So, yeah. I should just have him keep that. Yep, so they're ready for the baby. And y'all know what I did? I just be, because I know, I said I'm not going to like, I'm going I'm to keep the, I'm not going to decorate the child and stuff like that with the custom child mod. I'm going to um actually, I'm not going to play with the baby as a teen. I mean, as a child and preteen. I'll play with the baby as in the infant. And then I'll just automatically age him up to teenager because like I said, I, I don't like playing with the toddlers. It's a little bit too much. And then for the child, I have to find child CC and I don't have. But I do have teen CC. So, yeah. This episode, let's just have her give birth. Because I'm ready for her to give birth. Um, And the reason why the the episodes take a while to come out. Like, they can take up to three weeks to come out. Is because the editing. It'd be so many updates I have to do. And then... The editing for me, it takes a while because I just feel like I make so many mistakes when I'm talking. I just edit that out. What? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is embarrassing. Um, The doors are broken in the game. Yep. The doors are broken. Windows are broken. That's why I couldn't record this episode. Like, you see the, win the doors is broken over there and their doors broken. But the house is gone. And that's because once I do creative sims, I remove every mod out my game because the mods have merged files and they'll go, they'll be creating some items and I just don't know what items that I can use so I can give you guys the pa the package files. So I just remove them, but I forgot to put them back in. So, okay, y'all, like I was saying, um, before I had to go put the mods back in, I did the same thing on episode two and three and I, I learned not to make this mistake ever again because it's a lot. Here's Stephanie, super pretty. She's ready to have her baby. And she, oh my goodness, I'm just so excited. I'm switching between my mouse right now and my truck pad. So bear with me, y'all. I went ahead and already made her teenager bedroom. <laughs> so like she'll be a child for like 10 days and then she'll age up to be a teenager. So here's her bedroom. Um, I feel like she'll like fashion and like arts and nails and you know, like hair and stuff, just like her auntie Sage. Sage is a very successful painter and I did put some bean chairs right here but I decided to remove them and the game replaced them with these chairs. I'm going to delete those and here's her bed. I added some pillows because these don't come with the bed. Some wall art, a mirror and she has a double closet. Let me bring this down. The double closet. Her bathroom will be right here. I did, I think I did her bathroom. Nope. Oh, I did her mirror and her sink. I did that. I got to add a shower in here and some more stuff. But I'm not in a rush to do that because um, she didn't even have her baby yet. So let me see. Stephanie. Oh, did I tell you guys Stephanie has a job now? Freelance programmer. Um, let's check for gigs. I'm going to have Stephanie check for gigs on the computer. Freelance. Yep. Check for gigs. Her back is hurting. 
Let me see. I think her programming level is at three, if I'm not mistaken. But it'll show what jobs she'll be available to get. Okay. Um, stop hacking the land grab systems. Completely not shady company. Wow. That one pays a lot of money though. Oh, I wish we could do this one. Another custom merch website. Instant messenger app project. Let's see. Completely not shady company. Hi there, fellow computer enthusiasts. Here at this totally legit business, we are looking for a temporary contractor to create a few interesting bits of software. Some might call them invas invasive and dangerous, but really isn't everything nowadays. Someone's always watching out there, so why not us? That just makes sense, right? Anyway, we also need plausible deniability, so we can need so we need you. It's a positive mutual relationship. It pays a lot of money. Twelve hundred simoleons is due by Sunday, nine a.m. It was today, Thursday. Her programming level needs to be four, and obviously, it is. If they wouldn't be offering her the job. All she can do a quick cash for 185 simoleons. Let's do the completely not shady company. And she does have a lot of Instagram followers. So hopefully they won't drag her. But where's Tyree? I got MC Command still in my game. So we about to MC Command him real quick. Let me just use my trackpad. <laughs> MC Command, how's Tyreek feeling? Inspired? Oh, yeah, he, he jogs a lot and he's working out a lot. Oh, since we're talking about WTDs, Marcus, he got a UTI, yeast infection, whatever it's called. Um, And Sage has one as well, I think. Wow. You know, they just been messing around with each other. The Sims off camera, they been going crazy, y'all. So we want to see how they act as I'm filming for y'all for YouTube. So let's do MC Command Center. The mom is gone, you know. I think I said that, yeah. And I think Tyree got a promotion. If not, he hasn't been doing his work reports. Change outfit. I was thinking about giving Tyree dreads. Let's make this his outfit. These Jordans and this um Sade shirt. Yeah. Let's be like um with people. And her tattoos look very bomb on her. Everything is high quality. Tyreek, I didn't like out of nowhere. He just loved drinking. Like <laughs> These Sims, they've been acting crazy. Like, they never use, they used the bar, I think, one time. But, like, Stephanie could be making breakfast and he'll come down here and start making drinks, which is crazy. Flips. Oh, they just kissed and that was it. Oh, yeah, he about to make his drink and she's about to sit down, I think. Um, yeah, she's about, oh, they about to sit down and talk. So, talk about, like, I need to go to the hospital and Great I'm ready to so give birth. Now, I have to MC Command Center. MC Command Center. Pregnancy. Here we go. Pregnancy phase in labor. Boom. That's it. The baby's getting born. It's happening. I'm so excited. <laughs> I just can't wait to decorate the baby once she's a teenager. Because that's really what I'm looking forward to. Because I won't be getting any baby CC. None of that. Um, yeah. Be like, we need to go to the hospital right now. Stephanie is super pretty. And Tyreek is very handsome as well. And we gotta get her this mommy makeover. She gotta get in the gym. She gotta... It, actually, she don't need a gym. She could just go jogging. And they could work out in the garage together. Like, my stomach. I feel the baby. Is he yelling at her? Hup up, Tyreek. You acting very crazy. Oop. He just yelled at her. What's going on? What's going on? Very uncomfortable. Pregnant in labor. Focusing decor. Cozy fireplace. Decorated. Good listener. I love chatting with people. It's late. I should sleep. Yeah, around 7 p.m. She gets very tired. Oh, she gets this buff. Stephanie likes to stick to a routine. It's not the weekend, so Stephanie shouldn't be up right now. And on birth control. I guess when she gives birth, her doctor will remove her off the birth control. And... Tyreek, Tyreek, you need to calm her down. I know you want to drink right now and like do your thing. Look, their relationship is like going downhill. Apologize. I'm sorry. I'm very nervous as well that you're about to give birth. Just ask about the baby. Let me see. Pregnancy and family. Are you ready for this child? Are you ready? Bright and day. Everything's going to be okay even though it's nighttime. I'll be all right with having a child. Also be all right with not having a child. Y'all remember from episode one, y'all can go back and like look at it, watch it. Um, 
Stephanie was very confused and Tariq was like, no, no child. <laughs> he was super mad. Give her a massage. Well, she has to pee. Okay. Give her a massage because she needed it. Before they go to the hospital, just go pee. Stephanie go pee. And I'm going to have Tariq. He's going to call Terry, her mom. So call Terry. Call Terry over here. Well, actually, just call her. Why is he keep being mean to her? Admit the child isn't theirs. What? What is wrong with him? She's in labor and he's saying the child isn't his. That's insane. Call the mom be like, it's so much going on right now. Can you come over here? I right over here. I'll invite Destiny to her best friend. So invite Terry, Destiny, her sister Sage, and Bethany. Bethany is probably at work though, but we can see. So I'm going to have her lay down until he's finished calling everybody. Because he acting real crazy right now. He about to get put out. Y'all, we should put Tyreek on child support because he, y'all saw that, right? The child in the dares. He was just being mean to her every time she's in labor. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie, just come lay down. Oh, everybody's coming over. Come lay down till everybody, till everyone gets here. Your mom is going to come. And Tyreek, he's just, he's something else. So I'm going to have her take a nap. She'll probably wake up on her own. And look, he about, he about to drink. I already know it. He's ready to drink something. Actually, let me see. Everyone is already coming in the door. Um, just ask how everyone is doing. Where's Terry? Terry's probably upstairs because I locked the garage. So um, she probably already came in the house. And look at Destiny, period. Oh, also, once I was playing off camera, they, they kept saying that um, Destiny gave birth. And Destiny kept calling Stephanie and was like, you need to come see your nephew. It was crazy. But I did, um, I changed her outfit and I changed her hair. But that was pretty much it for Destiny. She looks like she's a mom too. Like she looks bum. And, oh, Bethany, she came in here running. Look, she's super excited to be an auntie. So everyone's here and I don't not, I don't see Terry, but she's somewhere in the house. So I'm going to need you, Tyra. Look, why is he being so mean? Point out flaws with Destiny, Sage, and Bethany. That's crazy. Maybe, maybe. Why does that sim always? Yeah. So wake her up. And. Oh, she can't go to the hospital? Let me see. In labor. I did something wrong. Oh, the, it's pause. That's why. In labor. I guess we can. Now we can try to go to the hospital. Nope. Great. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, three hours. Um. Oh, have baby at the hospital. Okay. Now, can Tyree go with her? He probably can't because I don't have get to work in my game. Oh, I can make them a group. Let me see if I can make them all go to the hospital. Probably can't. Yeah, go have baby at the hospital. And let's see. What time is it? It's 9.59 p.m. And Stephanie is going to give birth soon. I don't think anyone can go with her. So I'm going to just have everyone stay here. Stephanie is having a baby. What does she have on? Oh, Tariq went with her. Yes! He was able to go with her, have baby at hospital. It's a girl. Okay. Stephanie just gave birth to a baby girl. This baby needs a name. What would you like to call her? What? Your property taxes are a week over. Do you have three weeks left to pay them? Or your name would be in the paper. The total cost is 22,000 simoleons. Pay them now using your SMB bills app. What? Property taxes. Wow. Uh. S and B, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to say something to Tyree because he already be mad when he has to pay the rent. And the rent is like seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred simoleons. So I do got a couple of names listed on my computer notes. So let me just see. Okay, I have a middle name and I have a name. The name is gonna be Koi Havali Knight. Now I'm just trying to see what spelling. It might be this spelling. Koi Havali. Well, let's see how the K looks. How does the K look? Koi Havali Knight. We can do the K. Koi Havali Nights. Ooh, she's stinking. Oh, she's on her period? What? Bills have just been delivered to your mailbox. You owe 766 simoleons and you have seven days before you can pay. Blah, blah, blah. Stephanie will soon have her period. Great. And that's it. Wow. Um, Nine episodes later, she finally gave birth. 
And let's see how the parents feel. Obviously, Stephanie feels gross. So let's start with Tariq. New baby, no moment in the Sims life is more joyous than the birth of a child. I agree, Tariq. My little baby from memory system. I still can believe that I gave birth. <laughs> Nicely decorated. I guess the hospital was very clean and simple for them. Tariq always notices new and different things. How peaceful and relaxing. Gross from unclean Sim. That Sim needs to take care of that issue. Their issue. And that's obviously Stephanie. She just gave birth. <laughs> so yeah. And uh, pre parental panic. It's go time. There's always there's a new baby on the way. A little freak out is understandable. And shared sadness, seeing that someone Tariq cherishes is suffering makes him sad. And it's probably Stephanie because she's in a lot of pain. You see how big she was. So the baby holded a lot of weight. Baby's hair from birth. That's it. Now Stephanie has a new baby. It looks acceptably cute and will give a new dynamic to Stephanie's life. Sometimes change is welcome. With people cramping, needs a tampon. Um, sweet cravings, menstrual cycle, and on birth control pill. Great. I'm going to end this episode off right here. Where's the baby? Oh, the baby's right here in their bedroom. There's the baby. Super pretty. She's sleeping. So I'm going to end this episode off right here. And, um, cause I'm reaching the one hour mark and my computer lights to act crazy once my episodes get very long. I'm gonna end it off right here and I'm gonna start it right back up. Thank you for watching this episode. Um, Stephanie gave birth in this episode. And the next episode is getting things in order. Like, should we get a nanny? Mommy makeover. And yeah, so thank you for watching this episode. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next episode. Bye. Mm -hmm.